Hey, Extended Session Volunteers, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video, to get acquainted with the new things that are gonna be happening in preschool as we open up. And even more than that, thank you so much for committing to continue to serve during this crazy time. It means more than you know, and we could not open the preschool department without you. Um, as you know, we are opening up this Sunday, September 6th. I hope you re received your new schedule in the mail this week. And if you did, I'm sure you've noticed that you're now serving once every five weeks instead of once every eight weeks. I know that's a bigger sacrifice for you, and I want you to know I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I pray that we're able to go back to a less frequent commitment for you as more and more people become comfortable with coming back to church. But until then, this is gonna be our standard operating procedure. So again, thank you so much for committing to serve. As always, if you cannot serve on the Sunday that you're scheduled, just reach out to me as soon as you are aware of that conflict. I can usually switch people around and make a substitution work. And I understand things like illness come up sometimes at the very last minute, and that's okay too. Just let me know as soon as you know that you won't be able to make your commitment. Now, even though I can't physically be at church for the next six months, per the instructions of the doctor, I will still be managing the schedule from home, and I'll continue to text you on Thursdays to let you know when it's your turn to serve. So much for all those housekeeping matters. Now, I just really wanna spend the next few minutes on the logistics of a Sunday morning in this new normal. We will be managing three preschool classes during the 1030 worship service on Sunday mornings. Now you remember before we had four classes, but now only three. We have a baby's class, a toddler's class, and a three and four year olds class. We've combined the older preschool ages because of the limited number of volunteers we were able to gather for this new schedule. So uh, three classes moving forward. You will need to arrive at 1015 in the breezeway between the fellowship hall and the preschool department for screening. Now this 1015 arrival time is a little bit different for those of you who've been serving in four-year-olds previously. Before, the four-year-olds would stay in the sanctuary with their parents until the Harmony Kids dismissal right before the pastor's message. Um, that's gonna be a big change. Now the four-year-olds will be in the preschool department the entire worship hour. There are two reasons for this change. First of all, it limits their contact with folks at church and we wanna keep them as safe as possible. And it also makes it easier on our volunteers who will be screening them coming in and out. So we wanna make those two things more seamless and we also wanna keep the kids safe so we will have all the preschoolers back for the whole hour beginning this Sunday. And we are requiring masks for all adults who come into the preschool department. While none of us can say we enjoy wearing a mask, am I right? We want to show parents that their children's safety is our highest priority. And I know in the past, we have allowed extra helpers to come back into the preschool who technically aren't on the schedule for volunteering. And at this time, we can't allow those helpers to come back into the preschool. We're only allowing scheduled workers uh, at this time. And the reason for that is just limiting the number of people with whom the children have contact. And those who are absolutely necessary are the scheduled volunteers. So please um, respect that and don't try to bring extra helpers back into the preschool with you. Um, we'll be asking you to implement even more safety and sanitation measures. Of course, wear your mask, wash your hands frequently. We're stocking the rooms, of course, with plenty of soap and paper towels, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes disinfecting cleaners, all that. You're welcome to use all that liberally. And we're of course ramping up our weekly cleaning schedule and using the air purifier in the, during the week as well. Um, this is just a very important time for us to really focus on the cleanliness and the sanitation of our preschool department. In addition, we have made a decision that we will offer no snacks during the extended session. Um, just for sanitary reasons, um, especially with preschoolers, they want to eat off each other's uh, plate, and we just think that that's not safe at this time, and so no snacks will be offered during the extended session hour in the preschool department at this time. If a, children, if a child wants a drink of water, of course, we'll offer a paper cup and just a little bit of water, but that's it. 
and that's a disposable cup, no sippy cups, nothing like that that has to be washed or kept clean. We just throw it away at the end of the hour. Now, of course, if you develop symptoms, cough, shortness of breath, fever over 100, loss of sense of taste and smell, or you test positive for COVID after serving in the preschool, please contact me and let me know. We'd like to be able to let the families of the children know with whom you've had contact so that they can keep an eye on their kids. Um, and we will do the same if a child tests positive. We'll let you know. Um, because the preschool children are still not having Sunday school, the pastor has requested that we provide some Bible education during the extended session hour. Please understand, I know you did not sign up to teach and we're not asking much. You will not need to do any preparation beforehand, but this is what we're asking you to do. In the toddler's room and the three to four year old's room, you will find a Bible Studies for Life Sunday School book uh, for your age group. And in the back of the book, there are single page lesson plans um, for an additional teaching hour, and that's what you'll be using. And on these pages, there are simple ideas you can use to share the Sunday School lesson with the children using items that are already in the classroom. Again, no preparation on your part required. We also own three to five minute videos of the Bible stories that'll be at your disposal as well. And this assures that the children will be receiving Bible instruction even though there is no Sunday school at this time. I'll let you know in that Thursday text which lesson we'll be covering in preschool extended session. So there's no confusion when you arrive on Sunday morning, you can go directly to that lesson in the book. Now, I know this is so different from what you've been doing in the past, but it's gonna be great you are going to be great. I wish I could be there serving right alongside you, but I have to settle for cheering you on from the sidelines for right now. But again, thank you so much for agreeing to serve under these crazy conditions. And if you have any questions after you view this training video, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by phone or text. Even though I'm not at church, I'm here for you and I love you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.